Today I'm on site for a little show and tell about a topic that is very important for both buyers and sellers of resale homes right here on the Gulf Coast of Florida. Hey YouTube friends, Katherine Newman here. And yeah, I gotta hold my little microphone because it's just easier and don't wanna make a bunch of noise. Um, but I'm here at one of my listings in my quaint but booming hometown of Paris, Florida. What's the best part about living in a small town like this? Well, last month when that storm came through and it knocked out all the power, everyone pitched in and we had a potluck at the church. And then we got sick from June's casserole. But we did it together. And I want to share a real example of how important it is that we carefully vet the vendors that we hire to work on our homes. And I'm going to give you an on-site example of an HVAC gone wrong. But before we do, I'd sure appreciate it if you would do me a solid by smashing that subscribe button and liking this video. So because it's so freaking hot and humid, here in Florida, and of course today is September 13th, so it's still hotter than Hades. We're not gonna get fall. We're not gonna get a fall season, people. So we Floridians cannot live without AC, am I right? So most homeowners like myself, we make sure that we have twice yearly services on our HVAC systems. Many of us pay extra for those little um, UV lights, right? To keep the units from growing the mold inside. We make sure we change the filters every month. We flush out the drainage lines, et cetera, et cetera. You know, like responsible homeowners <laughs> that care about their homes. And that's what we should do. And why do we go through all that trouble? Well, <laughs> because we don't want to suffocate from this unbearable heat and humidity and because mama likes her house really cold oh, oh mom, mama said mom, mama said my mama said mama said that my mom, mama said that my mom, my mama said that she my mama yes. said that my and if you're thinking well Catherine, that's why we would only consider uh, a new construction home so we don't have to worry about an older hvac system well, of course i hear you that makes total sense right there are many advantages to buying a new construction home. Number one, everything is brand new. The colors, the cabinets, the counters, all of that sort of stuff, um, they're all up to the latest trends. You get warranties from the builders, you get warranties from the manufacturers, the appliances, the HVAC, the hot water heater, and all that stuff. A lot of the new construction communities have great community amenities like clubhouses and pools and fitness and event lawns and that sort of thing. And of course, there's always the important cheaper homeowners insurance premiums. So new construction helps to give you peace of mind for at least, well, what we say eight to 10 years on things like the HVAC, because that's their typical lifespan. Some are going to last longer. Some are going to last shorter. Now we just replaced our 10 year old HVAC system um, actually just a few weeks ago because it was struggling to cool. And of course, it was nearing its inevitable death. All things must die. So of course, I get why new construction is a great choice for many buyers. And there's other great benefits um, that I didn't even mention. But there's also some great benefits to resale homes if they've been updated, they've been maintained, and they have new or newer items like new roofs and new HVAC. Because I want you to remember, many resale homes are in communities that have larger lots, especially with the new density allowances that were put in place by the municipalities and <laughs> counties that now allows more houses on tiny little lots. And many resale homes, um, have much more space between them. You've heard me talk about that before. Lots of space between the houses. Sale homes have more mature quintessential Florida landscaping, trees, foliage, beautiful lawns um, that also better soak up all the many inches of rain we've had lately. 
um, and these communities are less likely to flood in the streets. Resale homes have established communities and amenities that are already built up. They're less likely to have ongoing road construction like you have over on Moccasin Wallow or any new retail or commercial going up very close by like you have in the newer communities. Resale homes can many times be less cookie cutter than new construction and resale homes typically have lower community fees and lower taxes than new construction communities. So for anyone that values maybe more privacy, more space, lower taxes and lower fees, then resale homes are worth your consideration, especially, like I said before, if they've been updated, have newer mechanicals, a newer roof, etc. Okay, so I'm off my soapbox about resale homes. I just think you ought to check some of them out. Um, and I want to get back to my topic. Hello, get off topic, get back on topic. Uh, I want to get back on my topic of why we need to make sure we are researching the vendors and the companies that we are using on our homes. So this great house here in a great community in Paris called Lexington has had a beautiful cosmetic renovation inside and out. It got a new roof in 2022. It has new appliances and it's just 2,636 square feet of really gorgeousness. And because it's such a large house, there are two HVAC systems. Now one is only four years old and the other one is only six years old. So very much still alive. Um, they're still cooling the house properly, but in the process of having the house up for sale and because i like to as a listing agent have all the current information to offer uh, the buyers and their buyer's agent um, we could not find any closed permits on these two units with the county now the purchase contract once we are under contract um, that purchase contract is going to make sure that the seller cooperates with the new buyer to close out any open permits on the house. But we couldn't find any open permits for either unit when we did our research with the building department. So of course my sellers did what responsible homeowners should do. Um, they called the company that installed both units four years ago, the one as same company that did six years ago, to see if they'd forgotten to close those permits out of the county. And lo and behold, that HVAC company is no longer in business. Mm-hmm. Nowhere to be found. You can't make this stuff up, people. Lesson learned number one. Make sure you see the actual permit your HVAC company pulls while the job is in progress. They're supposed to put it somewhere on the house so that it's evident. And lesson number two, go on to the county building department website and make sure the open permit has been closed out and shows as final. So my sellers called around and finally found an HVAC company that was willing to come out and see if there's any way to do what they call an after the fact permit on each of those units. Um, but of course, that's pretty much a dead end because you know, legit companies, they don't want to mess with a situation where maybe another HVAC company didn't do the right thing. And this HVAC company that went out of business didn't do the right thing. Well, finally, well, a great local company said that they would come out, that's who's here now, um, they would come out and check out the units and see what could be done. And because, you know, as I said, sometimes you really can get what they call an after the fact permit if an HVAC person comes out and deems that everything's working perfectly. But what they found was... Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there. So here's what they found out about the four-year-old unit and the six-year-old unit. Again, these units were working fine they're still working fine however what this company found out and was able to show us is that these units had parts from a bunch of different types of ac units they weren't 
fully intact units. They had been rebuilt units. So a certain part from here and a certain part from another unit and a certain part from, are they working? Yes. Is that cool? No. Let me hear you say, that ain't right. That ain't right. And they didn't have the required, I guess, like straps and stuff to hold them in place. There was a bunch of other stuff where they weren't working. So again, they could have left them here, but they're not going to have permits, right? There's no way that uh, they're going to have permits. Now, I'm not saying a buyer wouldn't be okay with that because they're still working, but I think that it's in the best interest, especially as a home seller, if you have an issue with your HVAC or your roof or your hot water heater or any of that sort of thing, just do the right thing um, and get those things changed out. So these people are doing that. Is it expensive? Heck, yeah, it's expensive. Two units, people. Condenser, heat pump, the whole thing. But it's worth it in the long run. Fast forward three days and here they are installing two brand new, fully intact units in the house. Um, a new heat pump, a new condenser, UV lights, brand new thermostats, all the latest bells and whistles. So that once we have new buyer, a new buyer for this house, of course, um, they're going to have brand new freezing cold air AC units along with a heat pump, of course, for the two to three weeks that we need heat in Florida. But anyway, they're going to have that too. So here we are at the house. Such a pretty house. So pretty inside. Again, more space between the houses. Isn't that cool? Look how pretty that is. And here we are with the HVAC company. Now they hope they do a really dang good job because here I am like advertising for them. No, they're not paying me. And no, this is not who I used for my HVAC system. So it's not that I'm trying to endorse them or anything, but these are the guys that are doing it. My people are really happy with them. Um, so yeah, we're going to see what's going on in here. Let's go take a look. So I'm not trying to beat a dead horse here. Sorry if you like horses, I do too. But guys, it's really important that we do our due diligence as homeowners when it comes to hiring people to work on any systems or projects in our homes. We pay a lot of dang money <laughs> to live in these houses and maintaining them properly is only going to pay off later if and when we go to sell our home. Now, if you're a buyer, in today's market, and thankfully the mortgage rates have been going down um, and they're expected to continue on a downward trend. So we're all really excited about that. Um, if you're a buyer, I encourage you to check out a few resale homes like this one. And again, as a buyer, you wanna make sure that the home has already had these kinds of important system updates or that the house is priced properly for you to make those updates if you buy it as needed. And if you're a seller in this market, you, you really need to be aware that buyers have lots of choices right now in this market. Resale sellers are competing with new construction. You already know that. Um, and new construction is offering buyers the moon, closing costs, buying down the rate, all that fun stuff. So sellers either make those updates to your home so then you can sell it at market value or you need to price it accordingly. And please do yourself a favor and make sure everything you do on your house is properly permitted, if permits are necessary, of course, and save every receipt for the work completed. And hey, if you are curious about what your home's value, the current value in this market is, uh, whether you've made improvements or not, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you about it. I'd be happy to come by, uh, look at your home, um, hear what you've done with your home, share the latest market data with you. Um, I can also offer professional advice on what improvements will help your home sell because I'm also a designer. Um, and of course, also help you know 
what offers more value if you made improvements, and whatever improvements you did that maybe might not offer any value at all. And if you're a buyer and you'd like to check out what homes are available in these counties, give me a shout out and you can share what your plans are, what your journey is. I'd love to chat with you about what might be bringing you here to this great county or the counties around here. Uh, I wanna be able to share with you what the new real estate landscape is, um, all the changes that have happened, uh, the strategies to help you navigate the new normals about how agents are compensated for their professional work. So we can talk about that as well, because it's always important that you have someone walking you through every step of the buying process so you get the outcome that you're looking for. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Katherine Newman. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. See you then.